Time is 6.53, time for the morning sprint. An update on the situation near Black River Falls, a live look here at I-94 at State Highway 54. You see that I-94 West beyond the ramp from 54 and I-94 East beyond the ramp from uh, 12 and uh, State Highway 27 are closed right now. Crews there are responding to a fire. Uh, we'll provide some updates when we have them online at channel3000.com. Madison and university police officers say there won't be extra precautions taken at graduation tomorrow. This as the pro-Palestine encampment enters its 12th day. It's not clear what students' plans are for after the school year ends. Police say this Saturday ceremony will be staffed like a home football game, but that violations will not be tolerated. A 20-year-old man in the Dane County Jail this morning he was arrested Wednesday night at Library Mall at the encampment just after 9 o'clock. They say two people reported the suspect threatened to kill someone. When officers tried to make contact with him, he ran into the middle of the protest encampment. Police say he resisted arrest and a crowd gathered around him as officers took him into custody. Madison police are investigating after someone found a body in the Elver Park retention pond around 3.30 yesterday afternoon, someone reported seeing a body floating there. MFD pulled that body out of the pond, and police say the person was an adult, but aren't sharing any other details at this time. The medical examiner is working to find out more. Madison police are investigating after someone pepper sprayed a Metro bus driver. It happened Wednesday night. Police say the driver was picking up passengers at East Mifflin and Pinckney. A man and a woman got on the bus arguing. Officers say the woman then pulled out pepper spray, used it on the man, but the driver was also sprayed. The two left before police showed up. All Madison Metro School District buildings now have Narcan on hand. That's the life-saving overdose reversing drug. The district partnered with UW Health to add the drug to every AED box across the district. They used Dane County funding to do so. Donald Trump will be back in court today. His former White House aide is going to take the stand again. Her testimony follows a day of cross-examination of adult film star Stormy Daniels. Yesterday, Trump's lawyers aggressively questioned Daniels, challenging her credibility. All of this adds the judge denied Trump's second request for a mistrial. At the Capitol Monday, the Supreme Court of Wisconsin will hear oral arguments in a case to reinstate ballot drop boxes. This two years after the court ruled them illegal when it had a conservative majority. When Donald Trump lost Wisconsin in 2020, he made claims that drop boxes led to voter fraud. Liberal advocates say banning drop boxes makes it harder for disabled people to vote.